Hey Collective, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today I'm coming to you guys with a channel message. Now keep in mind because this is a general message, it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today and I hope that you all are doing well. So when I was sitting down meditating before I started you guys reading, I heard someone needs to hear this okay and when i was the song that i ended up hearing as i was meditating was um sandstorm by mariba featuring jid i'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to so immediately the message that i got was with the song title itself sandstorm and i literally seen someone just out by themselves in the middle of a desert and then the wind was just blowing all around them just swirling all around them and the sand got in the person's eye and this person's like fighting fiercely to like regain their sight because their eyes were burning. And I, what I got from the message is that somebody is seeing something that is going to burn. Like literally, like it may hurt your feelings. It may feel very fucked up. It may, um, it's definitely going to ignite some type of storm itself. Again, the name of the song is Sandstorm. Like it's going to cause some type of storm. And I'm talking about like a physical, like something is going to cause some type of chain reaction in someone's life in this situation, right? Now, I also heard that somebody needs to make peace and love, okay? Or there's going to be some type of peace in a, in a situation with someone that you love that you may not be with anymore. And I also pick up some new opportunities coming in, like like literally like a sandstorm. Because like I said, I was seeing like something rolling, just coming, like bellows of sand coming towards someone and this person being engulfed. But it was just this person by themselves in the middle of a desert. So I feel like for a lot of you all for a while, you've been feeling like you were alone, like you were stranded, like the universe left you behind dry. And I feel like the universe is about to slap the hell out of you with abundance. Like seriously, I really do get this. And it's going <laughs> to, and for some of you all, it could be overwhelming because I feel like the way it's going to happen, it's going to require for you to make a lot of decisions that may make you uncomfortable. Okay, really listen to the song. The song does not say what I'm saying specifically because, of course, I'm channeling messages, but it does speak of a dynamic that's so passionate. There's a lot of passion, right? Because in this song, you have, it's like, a, it's a duet and they're going back and forth kind of saying how each other made, you know, how one made the other feel and how the situation has affected them both specifically and differently. But nonetheless, they both feel very passionate about each other so much so that it has caused a storm, you know, an avalanche of activity around their connection. So definitely when it comes to love, someone is needing to heal because I'm telling you right now, when this new stuff come in, that's going to be one of the things that you have to deal with. Also, one of the choices that you have to make, you're going to have to allow your heart to let go of this person that, you know, that you still have love for, because with all this abundance, somebody else is coming in as well. Because in order for you to have abundance, there has been an energetic portal that has been cleared. So you have cleared some karma. You have cleared some heavy stagnancy in your life. And when you clear stuff, you allow new stuff to come in, which means you have to release this person. But for a lot of you all, I feel like you feel as though this person is your soulmate, your twin flame, something to that nature. And it may feel a little difficult for you to release this person. But I'm telling you right now, if you hold on to this person, it's going to block. It's going to block everything that you have worked so hard for energetically, emotionally, physically, monetarily. It's going to block a lot of stuff. So just be mindful about that. Also, you know, you guys know I always burn my bay leaves, my sage and things like that, you know. And when I was burning it, I, I bullshit you not. You see how this smoke is, this fog is coming up? The smoke came up in a big ass O. And, you know, immediately I asked what, what, that, what that was about. And I, I did hear that someone's first, middle, and last initial can be O. This could be you or your person. And then I also got L. So again, someone's first, middle, last initial could be O or L in this situation. And then I also seen the number 609. So you want to Google. And I always tell you guys specifics so that you can get the clarity that I got when I picked it up. Okay, I seen 609. So you want to Google angel number 609. And it would be nice if you guys leave in the description box below how that message relates to you. Like once you read the description, leave in the description box below how it relates to you because it may be helpful to others who are going through the same journey that you're going on. And I did pick this up because at the moment that I sat down to do you guys reading, the time was 609. And when I looked at the percent on my phone, it was 96. And immediately I knew, okay, 609, I was just picking that message up. So again, make sure you Google that because I feel like there's a message in it for you all, okay? So unlike how I typically do with the, the channel messages, I'm going to suggest whatever two cards flip up on their own, those are the cards that we're going to take and then we'll clarify it, okay? 
So it's always both decks are upright completely. There's no reversals in either one of the decks right now. But if we get reversals, I will read them as such. You guys know your main energy deck will not have reversals at all, just your clarifiers, okay? So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands, guarding this defensiveness, protection. And this kind of, I'm telling you, this gives me the vibe of the song um, Sandstorms. Like somebody is trying to protect things at all costs. I feel like for some of you all, it could be, you may be protecting things or blocking things from coming in because this is a card of blockages also. You could be dealing with, or you could be a Leo Sag Aries because you do have fiery energy. You also could be a July, if not a fire sign, a July Cancer because you do have seven here. Some of you all could be a life path number seven as well. And I also wanted to tell you that I did get it. Somebody, you got spiritual, oh, okay. Blockages are getting ready to come down with your spiritual intuition, okay? As, as I'm doing this reading today, it's 322-22, right? And I add the numbers together outside of the whole 2022. I just put the 22. When you add that together, that's 11. 11 is a master number. And that's one of the high, you know, of the master numbers. That's the one that has the highest vibration of psychic intuition. Okay. That's, that's basically their gift, right? Predominantly, they're very intuitive. And I feel like some of you guys, your intuition is waking up very strongly. You may have blocked it out in the past. It may have seemed very weird or unorthodox to you, the things that you were thinking or seeing or visualizing, and you were blocking it out. But it's like, you can't fight it. It's going to keep coming at you because that may be a part of your gift, okay? So I'm going to shuffle a deck upright a couple of times. Yep, it's coming in quickly. <laughs> Chariot, Cancerian Energy. Major Arcana, so it's destined and faded energy. The universe is moving something, propelling something forward, okay? So we're going to shuffle the deck up right a couple of times until we get you guys cards. Or until I'm guided to stop and then we'll shuffle and whatever cards, two cards flip out. Those will be the ones that we take. Yeah, there's definitely some forward movement here. Major Arcana, the world card. And we do see a card sticking up right here. Look at that. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have the Ace of Cups. So I'm going to, wow. So what did I just say? For a lot of y'all, you are moving in a different direction. You have so much abundance surrounding you. And I feel like love is going to be on that path. Like she's going towards this Ace of Cups. Aces are brand new gifts. You know, it's something new given and gifted from the universe. And we are currently in a sixth year. And do you literally have six moon phases right over this eye? So I feel like this year you will see, this year, in this sixth year, you will see new love. You will see travel, distance for movement. Definitely some changes with your emotions because you see how huge that cup is and emotion, and you know, cups is the emotions and feelings. And literally, okay, I'm also getting it because we did have major kind of chariot, and that is Cancerian energy. Cancer season starts June, July. You do have six over this. So for some of you all, you can meet a new love interest in June. Okay. And then also, like I said, with this energy, there's forward movement. Some of you all may actually be traveling or moving to a new place or moving in with a love interest. Okay. I am getting, and this is very positive. Both of these together are extremely positive. You could be dealing with Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or also a Scorpio. Specifically, sun signs for me when you get the major arcana, or also a time frame, okay? So, I'm hearing two more shuffles. Yeah, some of you guys need to put down your sword and stop fighting for something that broke your heart. You got three of swords over his chest. Even though this is the four of swords, this is right over this person. So, some of you guys are still in this energy. That's why it's hovering over you. And you see he's a knight. He has his armor on. And his armor protects him. But they're telling you, you are protected. But you could lay down and let the ancestors or your spirit guides. Because look at that. Right up under him, there's one, two, three, four. You see those? Those are figures there. Spirit guides, guardians. They're protecting you. They got your back. They're literally up on his back. You could, yes, you are being defended by the most high. You are being divinely Defended. Look at how many swords. You have four swords in this card, but all together, they're not beating this one. And that's an ace. So this is your second ace already. You have the ace of cups. Now you have the ace of swords. Ace of swords, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, victory. There's victory and there's healing. A lot of you all have been fighting through heavy times. You may feel tired. That's why you have the, th the four of swords. He's leaning back like I'm tired of fighting. Okay? You don't have to fight anymore because, look, <laughs> I can't make this up. You don't have to fight anymore because you're walking towards victory. Ten of Wands carrying a heavy load, heavy burden. And he's walking right here towards victory. Okay? You guys have victory coming towards you. Or you're walking towards it. Bottom of the deck. Yep. Some of you all feel stuck and trapped. You have the Eight of Swords. Some of you guys could be a life path number eight. The past eight months could have been extremely difficult for you all also. Feeling as though you can't get free of a situation. Not seeing the possibilities in front of you because she's looking in front of her but she's blindfolded 
I always say with this car, it's a little frustrating because there's nothing bolting her lead, her legs to the ground. Her legs completely free. And look how loose these damn chains are. Very loose. And even with them on, she could have literally lift her arms up and push those blindfolds off. So this is someone who, in their mind, can source communication and mental. In their mind, they feel very entrapped. So much so that physically, they're unable to move. So be mindful about that energy also. Let's see what's up under here. But you're getting ready to move forward with the Three of Wands. Absolutely. And we are in the third month. So you see how this ship is veering in a different direction? They're telling you you're going in a completely different direction than the energy that you're currently in. And I know that because both of their, back, their backs are facing each other. So this is done and you're moving forward. Very positive. Okay. So let's go ahead and get whatever cards the universe wants us to get today. Again, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. And you guys know I always tell you what card is at the bottom and remind you because once we get whatever card flips out, we look at the bottom again because there's an additional message. Absolutely. Strength. Major Arcana Leo. Okay, so some of you guys can have strong fire in your chart as mentioned earlier. But more than anything, remember those same shackles the Eight of Swords had on her wrist? The universe is using those same chains to help move you forward because some of you all may be resistant to this change, okay? You guys can have very strong personalities, be very strong will, very strong in your convictions, but the universe is moving you forward. Now, if you look at the, the lion, he doesn't look like he's fighting it, so I feel like a lot of you all will go with the flow with grace, but some of you all may not be very happy, okay? You got the five, yeah, some of you guys are not looking forward to that change because in numerology, five is about change. Typically, changes that are challenging, unexpected, you're not very prepared for. And again, you have this knight here, and he's on his knees, and even though the flag is not white, you know, this is kind of like, okay, I'm, I wave the white flag, or I'm putting the flag in the ground, because it looks like he's getting ready to drive it into the turf. And he has his helmet off, which means this person is done fighting. What I'm getting with this very strongly, look at this energy. They're telling you to submit to the universe, to just... What do you call it? Um, Energy. Wow. And look what's at the very back. I love this. Okay, so you got the four of wands and then you have the chariot again. So they're telling you to submit to the universe because the universe, because this is an angel. She's pulling this, this line along. Okay. That's a major arcana, so that's a definite energy. They're telling you to just submit and, and stop fighting this change because you're getting ready to move into a new chapter of life that's going to be very abundant. Four of wands is long-term commitment, marriage, union, family okay ceremonies establishing things and that's that's moving forward for you very powerfully okay so they're telling you to stop fighting this change and like i said some of you all are definitely going to and you're going to go with the flow of what the universe is trying to guide you towards because she's guiding this lion to his destiny to his fate okay and he trusts so that's what they're saying submit to the universe trust the universe believe that the universe is going to protect you you are protected you guys definitely have spirit guys this is a very spiritual reading already you guys have spirit guides and guardians who are here with you. And you have to stop fighting the changes because when you're, you're fighting that stuff, you're creating resistance. Which means other the good stuff can't come in. It can't. Not that way. Bottom of the deck. Go with the flow, baby. Okay? Bottom of the deck. High priestess, look at this. Back The bottom of the deck, you have major arcana. Back, you have major arcana. On the table, major arcana. Anytime you have major arcanas like that, like back to back to back, and there's 22 in each deck, right? This is letting you know that these are major changes because it's orchestrated by the universe. It's orchestrated to help you move forward, okay? And then I just say in the very beginning, something with spiritual intuition. A lot of you guys, your intuition is awakening, okay? You or your person, if there's a person involved in the scenario, which I do feel like it is because I do pick up love energy. First, middle, or last initial could be J, B, C, O, U, D, H, M, and K, okay? First, middle, last initial. So for your second card, again, at the bottom of the deck, you have the High Priestess. What is the second message they want us to have today? And this is a timeless reading. Whenever you see this, this, this will apply because this is just channeled messages. Okay, something flipped up. I've seen it. Six of Pentacles, things being balanced because something wasn't balanced at one point. Do you see how the universe works? Two of Pentacles, here's that ship. So I'm going to say this again. Remember when I was saying earlier that there's a relationship that you need to let go of or because some on the outside or in your heart, you may have felt like it made you happy. That's why you have this rainbow here. But if you notice one pinnacle is higher than the other, which means it's not balanced. Look at the card that flipped over. 
scales, balance, okay? So, and this is your card, but I had to flip this over because I did see it. That ship is being struck by lightning. And you guys know how I put that, that ship relationship is being struck by lightning because it's not what you may think is going to make you happy. It's actually not making you happy at all. Because look at him. He looks like he has been through the motherfucking wire, okay? He's standing in water and it's splashing around his ankles, which means this person is in their feelings because water denotes the energy of emotions and feelings. This person is in their feelings, looking all soggy and wet. Look at his hair. You know, he's this person has been through a lot. This person has been through a lot. You have been a lot, through a lot. And it, this relationship has been through the ringer also. Because he literally looks like he has been through the ringer. Bottom of the deck, you got the nine of cups. Absolutely. I'm telling you right now, a lot of you all are getting ready to be, come into a time of balance. But you could be fighting it. Because as you have it on the table, their backs are facing each other. You get what I'm saying? Fighting this. Because you may be given to people who really don't necessarily deserve you or they're creating some type of resistance or they're creating some energy of um, lack. And then also I'm going to tell you, if you look at the direction at hands, these are two different people. So I said earlier also that some of y'all, you're going to have to make a decision. And if you see how he's looking at the scale, like he's trying to balance things and decide what to do, you're going to have to make a decision. Now, when it comes to your, your um, finances, there could be two different job options for some of you all. And you may like both. So you're kind of weighing the pros and cons. That's what I'm seeing right here. And then when it comes to love, you can meet someone new. But you're used to the old person. Because Pentacles talks about stability, groundedness, concrete, foundation. So that's something that you have history with. So a lot of you all could be having to make a decision. You like a new person, but your heart is with another. Is what I'm getting here. But I'm going to tell you again with that Nine of Cups, this is happy. This is wish fulfillment, getting more than you want and some. But you guys know I always say right here, here's your rap bastard. Here's the thing. If that rap jumps down to any of those cups, is this this shit ain't going to be so favorable, right? But the rat here could be you. You also could be born in the year of the rat. Now, when I say the rat could be you, it could be you who's getting ready to spoil your own party by not taking a leap of faith. Or when you take a leap, you're not, you're not making the right decision about something, okay? overthinking something because there's a lot of cups there's one person so how why does why does he think he should drink all nine of those cups gluttony okay greed but also more than anything this could be somebody who is obsessively thinking about things and and because i'm getting anxiety also possibly drinking too much some of y'all may have picked up a habit of drinking or you could be making a decision when you've had one too many things to drink. You need to be mindful about that. Or, okay, and I'm also hearing drunken confessions. And I'm also hearing drunken decisions. Like, not literally drunken, but you know how, like, the song Drunken Love, like, just obsessively doing something or doing something without thinking clearly. That's what I'm getting also. So think clearly and, and future looking because Pentacles is about the future, okay? Think future looking before you make certain decisions. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely. So you got the nine of cups twice. And this, this is why I always tell you guys, I want you guys to see the card. With that rat, like I said, rat bastard, that gives me rat bastard vibes because this rat could fuck up everything. Just like whatever's behind this curtain, it could fuck up everything. You got everything you want more. He's very content. Look at him smiling, arms crossed like I, I have secured the bag. But something can happen. Something can change the whole outcome of this situation. If that curtain gets lifted up and there's some fucked up stuff behind it, it could change the whole outcome and knock all those cups off the top of it right on top of your head. You get what I'm saying? And that's the same energy here. If this rat jumps into any of those cups, the cups are no good. You can't drink it anymore. And look at that. Holy shit. Look at this. And I wasn't even trying to show that. And it came right from the back. The tower. Major Arcana. Scorpio Aries, something unexpected happening, something coming out of the blue. This could be to you or a situation that you're in. I always point out how this person is new. Nudity denotes the energy of vulnerability, feeling raw, feeling exposed. And, and this is something that someone is not prepared for. So you could either be kicking someone to the curve or you already did. Or you could feel like the universe has literally tossed you head first into or out of a situation. That's why I said something is unexpected. Something unexpected is about to happen. So that's part of the deck, two of pentacles juggling. Did we not just get that in this deck? You're getting the same cards, two different decks, okay? So they're telling you right now, you, you're going to have to make a decision. Something old, something new. I always say right here, because this boat has hella cargo, which means it's been through many, many tours, okay? This one has no cargo on it, which is something new coming in. For a lot of you all, something that you have a lot of history with is definitely leaving a picture. 
because this this boat is going out of the picture. This boat is coming into it, okay? And also, not just a boat, ship, okay? Again, relationship. And that's why I said for some of you all, you're going to have to decide over someone that you have a great deal of history with and a lot of baggage, okay? Or a new relationship. And it's, it's interesting because they're on three waves here and we are in the third month. So for some of you guys, this could already be playing out. You could have met someone this month or by the end of this month, you could be meeting someone. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Yep. A lot of you guys got new love coming in. Ace of Cups again. This person or you, first, middle, last initial could be W-M-T-J-C-U, also H. W-M-T-J-C-U or A-H. I'm getting G as well. Um, you could hear from someone on a Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or Thursday. And when I say hear from someone, you could hear from a, a old love interest or a new love interest. And also you could be offered a job on one of these days. Okay. Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or Thursday. Job offers could be coming in. Someone feels like something isn't fair. With the justice card reverse, Libra energy, okay? The opposite of justice is injustice with this being in reverse. Some of you guys are not being paid fairly, okay? And that's why you may have to make a decision about where you're going to go as far as a job. You may have been applying and you, you could have two jobs coming in. Bottom of the deck, absolutely. So you have the Knight of Cups. I always tell you guys, knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. With this in reverse, a lot of you all are no longer wanting to fight for a situation, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. And then also the universe is telling you not to fight for a situation. So you get both here. And then also there's going to be one option as far as a job that some of you all may turn down because it just seems like it's a lot of work. Because again, this is a knight. This knight has to put in the work. So in reverse, a lot of you all are like, yeah, I'm going to decline this said offer <laughs> because it's yeah because it seems like too much work what i say i can't make this up so you guys could definitely be a july cancer or july leo because i'm saying cancer because you have cups right here and then you have wands right here okay and you do have leo here so let's get a clarifier for the strength card for the collective major arcana okay yeah a couple flip up but we're gonna only take the card that flipped up initially you got the page of cups yeah okay so it, it looks like the universe is definitely trying to offer you guys something and all you have to do is move forward. You know, this is out. I don't know, but lately I've been getting this and I know that's not what it means, but you guys know I channel messages, but this fish, I keep thinking about that in the Bible where, you know, Jesus took one fish and fed a whole village. It's like something that you all may see is small because this is a page. You may see this offer or some type of transition is small. It could go on to be quite strong and could feed you and your family for many, many years to come. And I'm not talking about scraping and, and scrapping and to survive. I feel like this is going to be a big thing for a lot of you all, you know. So just be mindful about that because it's following a major arcana. And major arcana is always definite energy and that's the universe, right? So you, it's, it's like somebody is definitely giving you an offer because it's in a gold chalice. Whatever this, this offer is, is golden. But for a lot of you all, okay, so this is what I'm getting. For a lot of you all, you may be fearful or hesitant to... Or resistant towards taking it because it seems small. Because again, a page is not a king or a queen or an ace or a major arcana. It's, it's small. But I feel like it's only small because it's something new. It's something brand new, fresh that's coming in. So be mindful of that. Because if you look at him, he's not, he's well off. Look at his ensemble. Look at his attire. He's well off. This is someone who's dressed like a nobleman. So this person is well off. Whatever this new offer is. And it's coming. You see how the fish is talking to him. Like, talk nice to me is what I just heard. For some of you all, you feel like this, this person is not saying the things that you want to hear. Like this isn't what you want to hear. And in love too, because this could be a love offer. This person could be a little bit younger than you also. Just a little bit. I'm getting like no more than two years. Whatever the case, two to three years I'm just hearing. Because I'm looking at the waves behind him also and there's three big waves that I'm really noticing. Whatever the case, you may want to turn this person out because they're younger than you and that's not attractive to you. And then for some of y'all, you could have just recently only been single for the last two, three months. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here as well. But see, I just said two, three months and then you got three of swords in reverse. For, to be honest with you, I feel like you guys are moving. Okay. The universe is trying to help you move out of heartbreak. And they're definitely aligning you and putting somebody on your path. A new love interest. And then it's also new love, you know, new abundance coming in for a lot of you all. But again, I'm going to say there's going to be a lot of questions for a lot of you all. 
with both of these matters. You see how they're across from each other? There's going to be questions with both of these matters. Because some of y'all could very much be resistant to change. I know it's a resistance or else there will be no need for her to have the chains around his neck. You know what I mean? Which means at one point you were being either defiant or rebelling against your own fate and destiny. Major Arcana's is fate and destiny energy. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles for the collective. Okay. That flipped out real quick. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys do not want to leave the situation that you have built the foundation with. Okay? And that's why I said there's a stubborn energy. Because you put a lot of effort and energy into it. Possibly even money. You've invested. Because Pentacles are investments. And I told you, for a lot of you all, this is you got new love coming in. But you have to let go of this old person. Because that situation is over. You see, that's a home and it's upside down. Okay? This person may be watching you on social media. You could be watching them. Whatever the case, with the Ten of Pentacles upright, that's positive because it talks about building something solid and secure, okay, with someone, but it came in reverse. So this definitely lets me know that for some of you all, and you do have these two hands here and this balancing, yeah, some of you all have to decide whether to release someone that you may possibly have a child or children with, okay, because this pentacle is right by her stomach like a, a belly, you know, pregnant belly. Some of you guys may have to make a decision about Completely cutting someone off that you have a child or children with or you lived with or currently possibly still live with for someone new. And then for others, it's, this is definitely about work, okay? Because I, I do feel like you're going to have new offers coming in and you may have to leave this place that you have many years in, okay? You could have been working at this place that you're currently at for six to ten years. Whatever the case is looking like, there's new stuff coming in and all you need to do is accept it. But there's, I'm definitely getting hesitancy. I'm definitely getting hesitancy. Let's see what's the bottom. It's time for you to move on. You know, page of swords. If you look at them, ponytail flying all the wind, leg ready for takeoff. This person's a track star. This person's ready to go. Okay? This, ready, this person's ready to go wherever the wind is going to blow them. And that's what the universe is telling you to be prepared for that. I always tell you guys, sword up, yes, sword down. No, the sword is up. So, yes, it is time for you to move forward. He's already looking towards the future. Time for you to ground yourself. Also, some of you guys need to really work on your root chakra. Those red boots are a dead giveaway. Red outfit, and even he's red. He or she, however, this applies to you. And even right here, lower half, this red energy. Some of you guys need to work on your root chakra. And that does align with this pinnacle energy as well because the root chakra is grounded, feeling grounded, feeling secure, feeling safe. Okay, and for some of y'all, that's also why you are not moving on so quickly because just the idea of the unknown doesn't make you feel safe. And that's why the universe has to pull you through this situation, which is why we seen the tower earlier on because they're like, okay, we're going to give you the chance to accept this cup. But if you don't, we're going to create some type of tower. Remember, this was at the back of the deck. We're going to create this type of tower that's going to make you very uncomfortable. It's going to make you feel very vulnerable because we're trying to help you. And you're not taking it. But keep in mind, before you even get here, you've already signed a contract and said at so-and-so time, on so-and-so day, and so-and-so hour and minute, this is going to be a transitional point for me. We always forget because we come into the matrix, right? So when you forget things and you don't decide to move forward on a contract that you've signed, don't worry. The universe is going to be like, hey, check this out, right? Sign, you see that signature on the, on the dotted line? That's yours. So go ahead. Play this out, play boy, play girl. You got to do it. So this is not a negative thing at all. If anything, this is just telling you like you can either do it the easy way and accept it or you can do it the hard way. Either way, this was a way that you signed up for. But it looks like it's going to be positive. But it's like stubbornness. But all this earthy energy, and I'm not saying earth signs are stubborn because you guys know my moon is in Taurus, my rising is in Virgo, my Mercury is in Taurus. So I'm not saying that earth signs are stubborn. What I'm saying is it can make you be very fixed. And unwavering and unmoving. But it's also going to block you from this newness that's coming in with that sandstorm. Okay? So thank you so much, Collective, for watching Queen Airbender Tarot. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.